Hello, welcome to General Biology Online. My name is Kara Johnson, formerly Leverett. I just got remarried two months ago and have not managed to change my name in at Ozarka College yet. So I am really excited to be your instructor this semester. I formerly taught full-time at Ozarka, but I moved about a little bit over a year ago. And so I teach part-time at Ozarka College, and then I have a plant nursery that I just started this spring. So I am going to just tell you a few things about this course and give you a few tips about using my Ozarka for those of you who are new and don't have much experience with it yet. So from your home tab in my Ozarka, you can see your list of courses that you're taking and you can just click on whatever course you want to get into it takes you to the page for that course and then there is a sidebar up here that has upcoming due dates with your for your assignments and then you can click on activities over here on the left and look at what's due each week for week one in this course all that i need you to turn in or all that I really need you to do for points is to participate in our introductory discussion where I just would like for you to tell the class something, you know, that you want us to know about you, why you're taking the class, and, you know, anything that you want to share. And then also to make sure and comment on at least two other people's posts to get your full 10 points. And so, well, I have five listed there, but I'm going to change it to 10. But so that's a pretty easy 10 points right there, right off the bat. And then the other thing that I'm asking you to do is to read chapter one in your textbook. So in order, I'm just going to stick with my Ozarka right now. So if you click on an assignment, you can see resources that are available for every textbook chapter. I provide the PowerPoint and the additional resources. So all you do is just click on it, it downloads it. I've done it a couple times trying to record this video, but it downloads it down here and then you can just click on it to open it. You can even save it to your computer if you want. But I feel like that's helpful for helping people to organize their notes and their thoughts and to study. So that should be in there for every single one, every single chapter. For some chapters, I provide 15 to 30 minute lectures and I upload them to my YouTube channel and I will definitely let you know what chapters they're available for. I do not have one for chapter one. I don't do them for all of them in my online courses because I don't think it's that helpful. And then in general, for this course, the only thing that I asked you to buy was a textbook and that's listed in the syllabus that's here also the ozarka bookstore should have it for you and then then we're not using any resources like connect or the pearson online resources and your grades for this course will be based on labs exams your final exam and a final project or field lab notebook which i'll talk about later for your labs I have lab procedures that use materials that you can easily purchase at the grocery store or Walmart and you will actually conduct the lab at home and write a report and sometimes include photos for me and upload your report into my Ozarka. And so everything for this course is done in my Ozarka. Your exams are in my Ozarka and you submit your labs in my Ozarka. Um, for all of your assignments, try not to wait till the last minute. I know sometimes it happens. It's definitely not ideal, especially on labs. You have to get materials. And if I were you, I would read through the lab procedures early in the week as possible and make sure that you don't have any questions or run into anything, any trouble with it, because even though your assignments are due on Saturday night, I may not be available on Friday night or anytime on Saturday 
And so if you run into a question, you're going to be out of luck and you're not going to make your deadline. So just keep that in mind. Also keep in mind that I am more than happy to answer student questions if you go on my Ozarka and you cannot find a PowerPoint, you know, for a particular chapter, or you cannot find a lecture that I said is on my YouTube channel, or if you have a question about a lab or about any of the material for anything in this class, if you have any questions, please just let me know. Don't sit around and mull it over, you know, and get frustrated. Just let me know as soon as you run into something that just doesn't make sense or that you need clarification on. I'm, I, I cannot tell you how open I am to answering those questions. And you're probably doing yourself, me, and your classmates a favor because chances are if you have a question about something, other people are going to have that same question or similar question. So just wanted to throw that out there. And I also just wanted to let you know that I'm very excited to be teaching this course this semester. This is one of my favorite courses to teach. And I'm looking forward to getting to know you all. This is kind of a big class and I'm excited about that. So let's have a great semester. And one final thing is that I send emails on Fridays to recap what we did that week and, and just give you an idea of what's coming the next week. So you can look forward to getting an email or if you're lucky, a video from me on Fridays. All right, let's have a great week and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.